Now, there is this hidden pain. The client doesn't know that he or she is going to have a problem one year from now or six months from now. So I call this as a latent pain. Are you with me? Yes. Some clients know there is a pain. That is called the admitted pain. Some clients also know what is the solution. Yeah? And finally, people are already evaluating their competitors as part of proposals. Okay? Are you seeing this? But when a sales guy goes, he doesn't distinguish at what level the pain is. He says, I'm so-so from this company, my product is this, 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 and this is what he says, I don't require. I had a go. Pardon? So, uh, like when the sales guy goes, do they panic a lot uh, yeah. when they ask questions yes, and all yes, because yes. they may get trapped because of a lot of things, you know, yeah, yeah. the sales guy may have said before and then when they meet afterwards. No, they come again, little, 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 little. When the sales guy goes to uh, these clients, mm. uh, is it possible that the sales guy can uh, panic? Uh, yeah, yeah. So most of the pay, uh, people who think they are eager, <laughs> okay, who don't follow process, all on the panic mode. Month 10, when they are not meeting the target, there is heavy pressure, and they, instead of making 8 calls, they make 16 calls, and still don't get that. I think, and 80% of the people who are in that panic mode have all kinds of disease, blood pressure, and everything. Psychologically, they are having blood pressure, heart attacks, you know, many things. So they are not healthy. So my advice is understand the process and you'll enjoy life. Yeah, and I can tell you, it's a fantastic profession. And like uh, she was telling us in the beginning, we are the only people who are getting the revenue to the company. But every minute we enter the office, the auto meter is on, expense, expense, phone calls, client, flying, meeting client, you know. So we are also spending. But we are the first So when the sales guy rolls on from one customer to another customer, does he face any challenges? Lot of challenges. Lot of challenges. <clears throat> so there are sides. Like I can tell you from my own personal experience. Um, I was hitting sales. Yeah? In school. My teacher told me, you have to sell this 10 lottery tickets. Okay, his ticket was one rupee. So I went and told my father, please buy all these ten, give me ten rupees, so that I'll go and I don't want to go to my neighbors and go on begging them to say, please buy my ticket and all that. So I used to coax my father. My father says, ten rupees. It's not that I don't have ten rupees. But how will this cause for which you are asking others, at least the neighbors will know. You go and say, no, no, Dad, I don't have time. I will give a lot of excuse. Yeah? He said, no, you go and try. Whatever you are not able to sell, no. <clears throat> the balance I will buy. Mm -hmm. So I used to go and hesitating. He said, what a, you know, teacher gave me this job. So six tickets sold. Come back and tell father six tickets. Then you say, okay, four tickets. I will buy. So I was thinking, what a profession. You know, because everybody will say, no, no, no. Most of the time, yeah, <laughs> and uh, they get thrown out. They don't even get and the treated. Most properly. of them get closed because of these things. Because yeah. uh, the customer wants maybe n may not match that of the salesperson. So yeah. then you have to decide or take a tough decision. Yeah. So I have do. I've been a sales guy, and my sales guys used to come and say, "Sir, I am not asking for increased salary. Change my designation." <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I said, yeah. Why? Why? Uh, they say the clients, whenever I go, the reception is not there, sales guys, go, go, go. go. Uh -huh. I said, but you are a sales guy. So what are you want to be? A new designation. Consultant. Yeah? But you are not a consultant. Because when you go meet the client, the client will think I'm talking to a consultant. But you are selling. Yeah? So let, her, let that person know that you are selling. So I would say to so tomorrow my guys, I said, please sit down. Unless we have the pride in the, that our profession is selling, please don't get into that profession. Okay? 
So now there is a famous article. Um, hope we were in time. Yeah, so I will introduce him to yeah. part of this. Yeah, part of it. we go to. Um, <coughs> uh, sorry, lost. So I will say that you have to have pride in your profession. So we need to not change the designation. Yeah, you should say yeah, no. But if you are going and taking the clients in a very, very, uh, what you call, process way, you will know whom to go and you can become evil. Hmm. That is a message I want to tell you. So if you follow the process, now the latent pain, first thing is this, don't send solution to that client. Send the pain. Mm. <laughs> Only then he will go to the next level. But you need to convince him. The problem is uh, to sell something, the customer must be convinced. Yeah. If he is not ready to convince, yeah. you can try a lot. Yeah. But see, so there are process. Way. There are process of how to sell that. Thing. Yeah. If you can convince him, then yeah. you are the king. Yeah. If not, then it's tough. yeah. So there are strategies. Now for admitted pain, you can sell the solution. <coughs> yeah. For the person who already has knowing some solutions, to him you have to say how your solution is different from the other solution. Yeah? And the last is when he is evaluating, you have to do negotiation. You have to say in all these principal negotiations, no win-lose, it's a win-win outcome is what is required. Okay? So, it is a stressful job. And um, there are a number of ways of reducing the stress. Because imagine, I go to a client and he asks me to wait at 12 o'clock. He gives me an appointment at 12 and they're sharp at 12 and he says wait. They are busy in a meeting. At 1 o'clock he goes out for lunch. <laughs> okay. And um, I wait. I wait. At 12 o'clock there is some other meeting. And 3.30, I don't know whether to go out for lunch or come back. Okay, I, I sit and my, you know, temper, anger is going. Imagine when I go and meet the client, I'm little in the anger mode. Yeah? And if that client says something, I lose my food. So, temperament uh, is very, very important to maintain. And the person, so normally I carry two articles to you know, thing to I keep reading, yeah, mm -hmm. and I have with some biscuit packets inside my, yeah. you know, bag, so I keep eating, mm -hmm. so that I'm always, you know, cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think being cool, and I think the temperament, I think, is very, very important. So before I conclude, I would request <coughs> Mr. Vishana to come and say how we can be positive and how we can cool, you know, so that we don't get angry, maybe some neuro-linguistic programming, your expertise, you can keep coming. Sir, one question. Uh, sir, question. 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 Let them complete that. Yeah. So, good evening once again. So, he has put me in a spot. <laughs> On a spot, I would say. Uh, well, uh, most of the time what happens is in the stage, uh, we get stressed or we get upset. Uh, why? Just mention, right? Uh, yeah, so because A, he also mentioned about, uh, in fact, uh, we were discussing about the uh, the VUCA word, you know, we have heard about this VUCA word, right? So we actually don't know what is going on in the other person's mind. We don't know what is going on and what, what the other person is thinking. And this person might just say no. Several times uh, you would have visited this person, you would have said no. And you would have got stress. Right? Now, what do you ask this person when somebody says, no, no I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't give uh, uh, this order to you. And I can't uh, accept this proposal from you. Any, any guess? Anything? <coughs> They have their own preset things. So for them, so what to do you do? Anything. What do you I do? try to convince them. How? I try to how? I put some data. The most data. important thing is to target right uh, customer audience. 
Okay. Like the, so you have done it. You have already targeted. Yeah. Okay. You have already targeted the right audience. Yeah. You have already did the homework. Yeah. I did everything. Yeah. Then you just you still go, <clears throat> and this person says no. I can't accept your proposal. I want to reject your I order. I try again, sir. Sir, I will try data. to discuss some data. Like his or her favorite topic. What I know, but what will you say on that day? After it, <coughs> what is the reason behind you are rejecting Vilas? Okay. Hmm. You can suppose she was. I don't want to tell you the reason. <laughs> it's my personal wish. Right. So basically, what happens is most of the time we are tempted to ask why, 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 why. So that is one of the one of the questions that you should avoid. Actually, it will give you a lot of stress. Of course, I will also teach you a technique on stress buster also, a two-minute technique. But before that, you also need to know what are the type of questions to ask. Right now, when the person is asking you or telling you, I can't give this order to you. Do you know? I have a paper and pencil with you. <coughs> All of you have. Yes. Okay. Okay. So people in general are ambiguous. In general, are ambiguous. They won't tell you why they are rejected. So you <coughs> ask a set of questions. Wait a minute. You need to ask a set of questions. So there are two types of questions you can ask. <coughs> okay. Now just write down a sentence. I want to give you an activity. Write down a sentence. <coughs> Anything. Write a sentence. Starting with I can't. Anything, and you don't have to reveal what you have written to anybody. Keep it to yourself. I can't. That's 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 that. Anything, anything which blank. you cannot. Fill, fill in the blank. You fill in the blank. I can't. That's 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 that. I'll give you a minute okay. to write. <laughs> Okay, it is a rider. Write something which you are not able to do. You don't say I can't become God. <laughs> that is, that is going to that is going to that is different. I can't fill the blanks. Right? Write one more sentence. Uh, leave leave about one, two, three, four lines, and then write one more sentence. But, but I can't itself. I can't itself. I can't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Now let's say uh, then your client client is uh, telling you the prospect I can't give you this offer. <coughs> or you have written I can't reach home early, or I can't attend office on time, or I cannot convince my boss, or I cannot convince my wife, or I cannot convince my husband. Blah 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 blah. It could be any I can't. So take it in the same scenario. When I Abhi was just telling you about getting stressed, you can ask two type of questions. One type of question is called as a diagnostic question. <coughs> Don't ask why. What stops me from whatever? Why you, you have left some blank, right? I can't. You write. Ask another question to yourself. What stops me from? Why it is called as diagnostic question? Because something has stopped you from blah blah blah. Something has stopped the prospect of prospecting client by giving you the order. So what stops you from? The diagnostic question. But again, you need to be very careful on how to ask. The tone also matters. You can't say, hey, you need to hear it. What stops you from giving me the order? You can't ask that. See, the, the, the tone, tempo, pitch, volume is also important. Right? So now let us look at a development question. One is a diagnostic question, another is a progressive question or a development question. Okay? You can't uh, give you this, or I can't give you, you are telling me. Okay? Anu Anubha, right? Akash. Akash, Akash. So, Akash, um, what do you think uh, we can do differently so that you could consider? So I'm asking that question. Right. What can I do differently? That's it. To make it happen. 
What can I do differently? First of all, don't panic. <laughs> if possible, don't panic. That that's is definitely the there. That I will just tell you. Also. If that happens, then <coughs> other things can hopefully right. happen. But that is no, the main issue. No, most people panic because they don't do the homework. That's <laughs> so that homework is, is important. Yeah. Homework is important. Knowledge of the products is important. Everything is important. I am not going to that. That will be a different, right? Diagnostic question: What stops me from doing it? Progressive question: What can I do differently? So when you are asking others, it could be a senior person, it could be an elderly person, with the right rapo. So sir, what do you think can be done differently? I said, chhod de nahi bas. Don't bombard with a long sentence. Huh? Otherwise, again you will say, okay, I don't have time to can, can uh, answer you. So what do you think can be done differently? Full stop. They will answer. And then when they answer. <coughs> Just keep your beautiful mouth shut. <laughs> and right? it's very important, right? And then in 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 most of the sales call, what happens is people panic. When you have not done the homework, or when you get nervous, or when you have made about ten calls, you have not you have got no 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 answer. You naturally get. Stressed. Right, I have known many of these sales guys take an antidepressant tablet. I was talking in the afternoon also on this. Right, have you come across anybody or a sleeping pill or any are both stressed over here? I am not able to say anything. Come on, let's have a puff. One, two, three, four, five. That's how you get into that habit of smoking or drinking or tobacco or all those things. Why? Are you so stressed? This client is so painful. Every time I go, this person says, "No, no, come, hello, yar, take pill it." So, three, four, will be enough. So, there is an alternative to do that. What is the alternative? Do you want to know? No cost. No cost. I need one volunteer. Okay. Let's give you a big hand. Okay. What's your name? Paras. Paras. Okay. Please have a seat. Okay. So uh, I just I want all of you to maintain silence. You have a phone here, vibrator, nothing. No, no, vibrator is not. Okay. So I Bharat, I want you to think of uh, a situation. I don't want to say client. Think of a situation that uh, makes you upset. Then you you have a call to make. You have a sales <coughs> call to make now at about uh, 8 p.m. Uh, and then you are upset now about something. Yeah, you are almost going to cancel the call. So that is the kind of situation you are in, right? Think of the situation. You don't have to tell me what the situation is. Think <coughs> deeply of the situation. When you are ready with the situation, just tell me so. You are raise your right finger. Okay, great. So you are thinking about the situation. You are there. You are part of the situation, and um, and and it makes you a bit upset. Correct? Okay. Think about it. Go deep into the situation. Okay. Now I'll ask you a question. On a scale of one to five, one lowest, five. Highest. What is the intensity of this situation? The intensity of your BP, tension, and all. You can open your eyes. Say four out of five is the intensity of the situation. Okay. Now, just uncross your hand. Be relaxed. Okay. <coughs> Now, if you want, you can remove your specs. <coughs> Now, I want you to think of the situation once again. But with a different. I'm just going to change your posture. What is it? Concentrate on that. There is something different here. Diking. Just see how good it is. Just relax. Are you able to see? Yeah. Right. 
Think about the situation again. Fantastic. That's it. Great. Give me a round of applause. So, earlier it was 4 out of 5. Now it was somewhere to... It just didn't feel same. It didn't feel same, right? So, how long it took you to bring it down from 4 to 4 out of 5 to 2 out of 5? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Less than 30 seconds? No antidepressant, no daru, no BD, <laughs> no tobacco, right? So, whenever you get depressed, whenever you are panicking, even before going, entering into a prospect's uh, uh, room or making that phone call, whenever you are upset, do this technique. Very simple technique. You don't need the help of anybody. All you have to do is... Of course, in case any of you have a neck problem, be aware. What is this process? What does it do for okay. and mentally? Right. So, this is basically called a change of state. You state, change the state of your body. When you change the state of your mind. That means any change in the physiology changes the state of mind. And you may also want to know why it is. Because there is a connection between mind and the body. Whatever the body does, the mind also does. Whatever the mind does, the body also does. So any change in the posture changes the state of mind. Any change in the state of mind changes the posture. Right? Uh, it is nothing to do with good hormones. Like I thought, he, by doing this, you will get good hormones. Of course, because that is that is that is the chemicals that react. Yeah. So the chemical, the positive chemical react. The adrenal push and all those things. It it relaxes. It relaxes. Otherwise, the first situation, it would have been pumping at uh, maybe some thousand kilometer per speed. Uh, mm -hmm. Now it would have already. That's only reason, right? So I'm sure you will be able to sell well, sell more without panic. Number one, and number two, if you get upset, that's it. Of course, there are many, many other techniques. It is just one technique. And number three, before I invite Abhi again, ask questions to clarify ambiguity. What stops you from? What stops me from selling more? I am able to sell only 3 instead of 10. Ask yourself, what stops me from selling more? Ask once, twice, thrice, but don't get into only diagnostic mode. Ask a development question. What can I do differently to sell more? That means whatever approach you have adopted till now, don't use it. Change the Abhi? Last part because I don't want to take too much of your time. And, and we want to leave a lot of time for questions also. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. what I mean. I know. So I'll just take one more minute. Uh, so, like that, your good name, sir? Mr. Mohanty. Mohanty. Mr. Mohanty is asked. I'm an Indian company and I'm competing with multinationals. I thought I'll tell two, because the key thing, don't commoditize your product. Yeah? You have to differentiate how your solution is different from others. And that is a lot of innovation, creativity. So two examples I'll give so that it, you all feel now, oh, I think I'm competing with the multinationals. <laughs> so I was working as the CEO of a company called Roxas Technologies. We were making routers. The only Indian company manufacturing routers in the country. Anybody knows who the multinational famous uh, routing company is? Yeah? Thank you. So our market share was point not 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 one percent as compared to the Cisco. But everybody I you know, attracted my team and said we are Indians and we are proud to be making routers. Okay, so <clears throat> the bank, you all been to ATM application, yeah, so the ATM earlier was in the ground floor as per the law and uh, the dish antenna was on the rooftop, yeah, and the connectivity happens to the dish antenna, so the bank ends up paying more sometimes to the roof 
than the first floor because the owners are different. So once the owner finalizes the ground floor, that other person who owns the top floor, he can jack up any time because you have to put the dish antenna in the same, you know, um, um, what you call premises. So it was becoming unviable. Yeah. So we made a router which is the dish antenna cost 1.2 um, um, what do you call lakhs, 1.2 lakhs, and our router was 20,000. And uh, people thought, uh, and then we said um, we'll go to Reliance, and um, we clubbed their CDMA network, and the router which we made was slightly bigger than this, okay, and it could be in the ATM, no need for rooftop, yeah. And huge escort, which is a six billion dollar company, Indian operating from Delhi, multinational company, wound up their business. Yeah, because 1.2 lakh and 20,000. Yeah. So Reliance said, we have one more application. Yeah. Can you develop your for this application a router? We developed a router. And uh, Cisco came and um, they said that they were buying for that application the Cisco router. And Cisco, uh, for this particular application, they said, I don't think we can standardize uh, the router. So they, whatever the region in Bombay, opted off. We developed a product, okay, and a <coughs> lot of banks bought that router. <coughs> So the State Bank of India in Kerala, when the jetty was going inside the sea, customers, tourists can withdraw money. I don't know why they want to withdraw money when they are in the sea, but that was what the news item said. And uh, John Chambers, the chairman of Cisco, um, read this and said, who's giving the connectivity? And they said, State Bank. So they went to State Bank. State Bank said, no, uh, Reliance. And they went to Reliance. Reliance said, no, it is some Hyderabad based, you know, company. It's not in the, you know, network, website, whatever. And finally, they tracked us. <clears throat> and John Chambers called my chairman in US. And he said, I want to acquire your company. Tell me how much. Yeah. And when I was the CEO of the company, my boss told me, you have made such great products that companies like Cisco should acquire. Yeah. And here was a golden opportunity. But my boss turned nationalist, and he said, no, I'm not selling. OK. Um, uh, so John Chambers got really wild, because we are the only one Indian company who said we don't want to get bought over. Yeah. So he troubled us a lot. And he said to the uh, Bangalore, please make a router. And if they're selling at 20, you sell it at 50. And they made a router. They were given three months, but they made it in one month. They went to my client Reliance. Reliance called me, said, please match the price, otherwise you will lose the order. And I said, no, I can't match. I have not lost, uh, I, I lost an order, but not a client. So I made another router, cheaper, and brought it to 12. And I know the Cisco will come and sell it at 10. Yeah? So I told my guys, you make a router for 8. What I'm saying is, it's in our mindset. If we think multinationals are great, okay, they are not great. They are like you and me. Yeah? So don't have that inferiority complex <coughs> that what we are doing is inferior. And uh, so you have to have pride in what you are doing. And uh, like any other company, you are also a great company. It may be size doesn't matter. Okay? So imagine a Roxas. We never believed in advertisement. So not a single advertisement I was for five years I ever advertised. But we have done five hundred percent growth rate year on year. Yeah? So friends, I would like to just stop saying differentiate, differentiate, differentiate. You can differentiate just by your terms and conditions. Okay? So if you can differentiate and explain the value of the client, then the price does not matter. So I thank the organizers for giving us a nice opportunity. So all the best and successful. The floor is open for questions. Okay, you all have any questions? You can go ahead and ask. <coughs>
सर प्रेजेंटली आज के सिनारियों में कैसे हो तो फिजिकल अपीरियंस जो सेल्स पर्सन है उसका एक सही में बहुत कैसा उसका इम्पैक्ट रहेगा क्या रहेगा उस पर एक थोड़ा सा आई डोंट थिंक फिजिकल प्रेजेंस मैटर पर वन हैज टू गो द बॉडी लैंग्वेज हैज टू बी कॉन्फिडेंस या नीटली ड्रेस्ट Okay, when you not dress costly or you know, well groomed, the confidence which you give, the confidence which you have should be 150 percent, so that the client gets at least 80 percent of that confidence. But if you go with 70 percent, the client will get only 20 percent. So to that extent, personality matters. Personality is an attitude. It is not on the outside what you wear. Okay. your own conviction on the product your own conviction on the solution and your own conviction to help the client you know all this part of the personality <coughs> we have any other questions yes what is the process you were talking about <coughs> you said we are we are we all are non eagles so what is the process that you were discussing about like that we all need a process of uh, so that takes long time but the process Prospecting till closing and getting a repeat order is the entire process. How can we learn that? Like going from the yeah, there are lot of trainers, and I think Nuriti and Raj can do, and there are lot of Mercury International. There are lot of companies who can see what product you are, what you are selling, how you are selling. Okay, and then we will develop a process. After we meet some of your key clients on understanding what is their buying process, yeah. But you know your client, you know better, and you know your process. The only thing is alignment. You know, only then you can have peace of mind. Otherwise, you will be always under pressure to meet targets. If, for example, like we have a customer who is using, for example, a Panasonic phone, and I am a customer who likes Samsung. so there can be a mismatching use initially yeah. itself yeah then afterwards when you go in for a phone or you exchange a phone and then move forward with that then the problem is you try to stick to your phone because uh, you are more convenient with that you like samsung you are mr nitesh i am nitesh that's all yeah. i am so now that is no longer true earlier when my time said i am more satisfied and sure that you will give me the next order Loyalty and customer satisfaction now is different. When you go and say I am happy with the service, but is there a guarantee that I will go and buy the same product? No. Yeah. So that's a good news for you. But it can be difficult sometimes to change something. Yeah. If you have a suitable sales strategy, that is the good news is satisfaction and loyalty is never the same. And now customers, the loyalty is decreasing. as long as you are able to standardize and tell them what is the value so all sales people should learn how to break a habit of a client you know thank you sir excuse me yes sir uh, sir uh, in your introduction i came to know you went from mechanical product sales to you know uh, it hardware related sir i want to understand how did you adapt to different products and how fast you adapted And is there any difference uh, when when the product change from okay. your selling time? It's a good question. Most of the time, sales people shift job and join their competitors because competitors pay them a high. They also get the earlier companies all uh, you know strategies and everything. <coughs> so uh, most of the switching happens within that uh, what we call sector. and most of them join the competitors my value system is i cannot sell today roxis to all of you and tomorrow join cisco and come to you and say now cisco is better yeah some of my value system doesn't permit so each time i left companies i went to a new different sector okay so i have to learn the abc and at 
as I was shifting jobs over my career, I was also becoming senior role, so I better learn things fast. So you need to have a learnability, and that helped me because nothing is safe. Change is the order of the day, and you were talking about the VUCA world, which is volatile, uncertain, ambiguous, complex. 